Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be doing my unboxing of the my new lens, the Tamron 24 to 70 millimeter VC lens. Now I got this from Amazon, got it for just around about nine, uh, 900 and 900 pounds I think it was um, and it's again I have to say very impressed with how well Amazon managed to get it here uh, there's pretty much no delay it came within the week I put the order in on Monday got it by Friday um, and it was well packaged Amazon in Scotland you're doing really really well okay so let's let's get in closer to the unboxing of the lens so I've gone and bought this for my Nikon D700 and as you'll see on the camera just now I've got this lens's little brother or bigger or older brother. Um, this is a 28 to 75 millimeter f2.8 so they're both the same aperture but this one's a little bit less wide at the widest but further uh, in the telephoto. However if you listen to this if we hear it's focusing oh It's, it's pretty rubbish at focusing. Let's hear it again. It's just not, it's just a very noisy, noisy thing. And if we zoom in, if there's any difference. Oh, even slower. Pretty, it sounds like it's really grinding away and it is, is being well used, you know, that this, this lens has, has been through the wars. However, I'm not going to be selling it. Um, although, yeah, I've got this newer version. I'm keeping this one. And the reason I'm keeping this one is because it is a fantastic lens. The sharpness I've got of this for weddings and for portraits is phenomenal. And because it's so cheap and because it's so light and because it's pretty, you know, you know I'm not really going to be too worried if I bump it too much. If I'm doing any nightclub, if I'm doing any kind of really dodgy locations or anything like that, I'm happy to put this on because if anything happens, I'm not too worried about it. It only cost me about 250 quid at the time. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's go and check out this. So in the box, some nice packaging. Comes with instructions, handy. A five year guarantee in German. Handy. Okay, uh, and then, ooh, that's kind of cool. Okay, so the lens comes in a pretty funky little box. Da, 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 da. And well cellophaned up. Oh, that's the lens hood. So instantly I can see, whoa, I can, Instantly, you can feel some differences as well. Um, th this is huge. This is huge compared to the other one. It certainly feels it. And it looks like it's got a rubber seal. Yeah, so weatherproofing wise, this bit's got a nice little rubber seal in there. So that's good. And that's a serious lens. Uh, rear cap going on there and that is a monster <sighs> monster of our front lens oh i like this a lot his zoom is certainly smoother still not as smooth as it could be it's not as smooth as like a prime lens and it's focus seems good seems good let's stick it in the camera and see how it looks Okay, so here I've got them side by side, and if we look at, I've got my little 50mm f1.4 here to give you an example of the size difference. Um, Height-wise, there's a little bit of a difference, this one's definitely taller. This one, although well used, it's got some dust on the inside. One of the things you'll notice is that there's no rubber gasket around that, so it's just kind of hard plastic straight to the metal. Meanwhile, the new one, I'll just leave that there. The new one has got definitely a rubber bit just around there, so that will stop any moisture uh, getting in in that area, and hopefully some dust as well. Let's see if, if we change the zoom, it goes in, and there's lots of electronics you can see there. 
as well. So that comes to there. That's the same as what it was on the old one as well. Whenever this one zoomed, you can see it went right in as well. But you look in there, there's nothing in there. So less things to go wrong, that's one thing you could say. Um, Size-wise, like if you look at the size of the actual lens caps, big difference in the size. In fact, it's so, so much bigger that the old one's lens hood can fit inside. Pretty much the same height, maybe the new one's a little, just like maybe one tiny fraction taller, uh, but it's a heck of a lot wider going on there. Um, so on this one, it's got your manual focus or your, app or your auto focus, vibration on and off, and at the side you've got a lock button so that if you put that down, it won't change the zoom. But that, I think that's only at 20 mil. Yeah, you can't put it down anywhere else. Or 24 mils. So that was the same with the old one. Put that down, it won't change. However, with the old one, you did have your aperture ring, so you could easily put this onto a different camera, like a Canon camera, even though it's a Nikon lens. But it's just a cheap filter. Um, but this one doesn't, so you need the more expensive uh, adapter ring if you're wanting to put this onto one of the Canon cameras if you've got the Nikon version. But yeah, big difference and certainly big, big weight difference as well. Now we're going to head in and do the most boring test in the world and it's vignetting. I'm just going to shoot this wall here with the two different lenses, see how they come out. 